Hi guys, so in this video, we're gonna talk about veining. Um, I know there are a few people having trouble with determining how dark or light their vein should be. And so I just wanted to um, do a video. We have our test head, Claudia here, I think. Um, I did cure this vein on here already that I did very, very dark so you guys can see. Um, so as far, let's start, I guess, with um, patent translucency. I don't want to say consistency because my paint is very, very thick that I use. However, I add thinning medium to it. I'm not usually adding regular thinner. So while it can be this thick, um, it's also um, more translucent. It's not just like straight paint. Um, but a really good rule of thumb is when you do your mix, and I would really recommend uh, doing veins with paint if you're going to do veins. I would check first before you start doing them anywhere visible. Do a vein on the top of the head, the back of the head, somewhere that will be hidden by hair. And what you want to do is you want to take your cosmetic wedge and you want to pounce it out and see how light you can get it. Um, on the ends, you want to pounce and pull back a little bit so that you're really blending it into the bare vinyl. Um, you don't want a spot like this where you can see where it starts, you could see where it ends. You want to blend it. Same thing on, on the other part of it. You want to push down while kind of pulling towards yourself um, just so you're blending it. And so this one, I would say, is a good color. Um, you know, I can definitely just put it on and leave it like that, and it would be super dark. But I can blend it, and it'll go down uh, to the right color. A huge, huge thing is, if you don't know if your veins are too dark or not, don't bake them. If you don't know if your veins are too dark, 99% of the time it means that they are. Um, a really good way to tell is by taking a photo. If you can clearly see the veins in your photo, your veins are more than likely way too dark. Um, the, the good, I don't want to say the right because, I mean, there's certain different circumstances, but so I'm going to say in general, um, a good translucency layer for veins, you should be able to see them in person, um, but they shouldn't show up on photos. And that is just like regular veining um, if you just want it to look natural. Um, even though this is like the very first thing we do and we're going to be adding a bunch of paint, there's only so much that paint can cover up. Um, this, there would be no way, no matter how many layers of paint I can do, that I can cover up something that's this dark on the vinyl. Um, that's why you definitely want to make sure that it's like this one. It's nice and blended in. I could see it to my naked eye, but I'm pretty positive you guys probably can't see this on the screen. Um, there's a couple things to do if you don't notice and you accidentally bake your veins um, hopefully you're doing them first and if that's the case you can um, you know if sometimes you can sometimes you can scrub with thinner and a q-tip and you can get it off a little bit not always if it's baked though um, you can use whatever you use to strip kits. You could try 91% alcohol. You could try goof off. Um, instead, like covering them up is an absolute last resort for me um, because it doesn't look great. Um, it's never going to look really natural. So you're going to be stuck with kind of caking, try to cover up 
or having them show through a lot. So if you're doing veins at the very first stage, it's so much easier just to strip them off. Um, sometimes they will stain the vinyl depending on what you're using and that could be a problem. <laughs> but if they do stain, hopefully it's light and you just won't have to do veins over again. Um, so if your veins cannot be removed, they're stuck there, they're this dark and you want to try to cover them up. Covering them up with normal paint layers isn't going to work. When you're adding more colors on top of that, it's actually going to make this darker in the end when we're adding reds to it, blues to it, stuff like that. So to try to cover, you want a color with white in it. Um, I just have my white right here, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate with. But, um, you know, you would want to probably use a flesh or like a flesh show eight a yellow with white something like that not just straight white so this is what we're gonna do we would take our lighter color you do not want to draw a straight line and try to cover it all the way up that's actually usually gonna make it stand out even more you would want to do a dot of it at the bottom and then a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, and again at the end. Um, you're not going to be able to hide it completely, so what you want to do is to try to break it up to minimize it. And I would just kind of keep doing that. I would not be using straight paint, but I'm just trying to demonstrate to you guys how to do it. Um, and you would need to probably do a lot of layers of this if um, you're using a regular Flesh 08 mixed with some thinner um, until you can get it broken up. If you can get it broken up, it'll be a lot easier to blend in later. Um, it still won't look as good as if you had just stripped them and started over, um, but it will look better than trying to go along the whole line and lighten the entire thing. Um, I'm hoping that I can get you guys to prevent this issue rather than fix it. Um, veins being too dark are like my nightmare. It's very hard to fix. It's not something that I can easily fix. If I mess up and my veins are too dark, I strip them off and I start over. Um, I always do the photo test before I bake if I'm like not 100% sure um, because there are times where it's kind of right on that line but I really like to err on the side of caution I would rather think shoot are those too light um, because it doesn't matter if they are too light as I'm painting along if they get covered up I can just do another really light layer on top of them and emphasize them just a little bit more but it's almost impossible to cover them up and fix them and have everything look seamless and natural if after the fact. Um, if you're using something other than paint, I don't have a lot of suggestions. I know there was somebody recently who does them with Prisma pencils. And I thought maybe thinner would take it off, but it's like stained on there. Um, so I would recommend probably definitely don't use pencils. Um, I personally wouldn't use powders for veining. Um, I prefer to use paint. Um, one thing that I really want to kind of touch on that I don't think I've talked about before. If you're struggling with veins, if they're not your strong suit, First, you don't have to do veins. That's, that's a huge thing to know. Not everyone does veins. If you don't do veins, it's fine. You don't have to do veins. But another thing is, is you don't have to do an entire vein like this. You don't have to do that. Um, if you want a little bit of a vein showing here, you can draw a little tiny bit of a vein and just pounce it out and you'll just have that tiny line to contend with instead of this whole line. Um, when I do veins in this long thing, 
um, I have to work really hard to make sure I'm pouncing out there that I'm also making them pretty hidden at some points in the middle because to make them look the most natural you just want pieces of them kind of poking through I don't know if you look at like your own I sorry it's cold in here I'm crazy modeled right now you guys can't even see but in general I can't see a whole vein that goes all the way here I could see a little bit of it here maybe I could see a little bit of it here a little over here um, so there's nothing wrong with not doing an entire vein you can just do a little bit where you want it to be noticeable um, another thing is if you don't want to do veining but you want the effect of veining you can take a modeling sponge you can get some blue paint you could even use your whatever vein color you want and you could do some model there where you would naturally want some veins to show through um, when you do that let me see if you guys can see this I might have to do a darker one here I'll um, I'll mix some more blue in here Sorry guys, trying to get stuff to show up on camera is sometimes a royal pain in the butt. Okay, there's no way that should not show, show up. That's crazy dark. Okay, so you can put some on your modeling sponge. You don't even have to wipe the whole thing. You could just dot out a couple little lines of however you want your veins to be and you can just do that keep in mind this is for demonstration purposes only please never ever do blue that dark on your babies but you could see how i was able to mimic a vein line just by drawing a line with paint on a modeling sponge that has a normal modeling pattern um I used to do stuff like this when I was first starting before I knew like how to do veins. Um, it's a really easy way to mimic veins without actually having to draw full veins. But I personally, I would really recommend that if you want to do veins, that you work on veins, that um, you get a test part that you practice on the top of the head, the back of the head, areas that would be covered with hair and you know you could do veins you don't have to do them all at once you could take your vein mix you can do them on the back of the head you could pounce them out you could bake it you could see how it looks if it's too dark it's fine it's covered by hair um, you could thin it some more and you could just just keep testing and really by doing it over and over that's how you're going to be able to tell just by looking at your veins what they're going to look like after baking um, a lot of paint does get lighter after baking. Um, vein blue is not one of them. <laughs> Pretty much what you see in the oven is what it's going to look like out of the oven. So, um, you know, always go lighter. It's so much easier to prevent issues like this than it is to try to fix them. Um, I'm just going to wipe some of this stuff off of this head um, but so I just I can't stress enough how important it is to really try to prevent these issues like I hate seeing you guys struggling with veins I know I've done like a few veins I try to explain them and I know some of you are still struggling so I just really want to encourage you to just keep practicing don't practice on the middle of the forehead don't you know don't practice on top of the foot get it on areas that are hidden until you get it down and then go oh okay this looks perfect right here I'm gonna put it there take a photo if you can see it in the photo don't bake it wipe it off and make it a little bit lighter all right guys I hope that that was a little bit helpful to some of you struggling with veins being too dark. Um, 
If not, hopefully a future video will be. I'll see you in the next one.